We were asked by many of our partners in the law enforcement and animal control area to provide some training that would be a partnership between firefighters, law enforcement, animal control officers, and first responders to take care of situations that occur along our highways and in our communities involving large animals. We were able through the use of a Homeland Security grant to provide specialized training in partnership with the county, fire department, local ranchers, horse owners, uh, horse rescue folk, and our law enforcement partners on how to properly rescue and take care of animals that may be stuck in ditches, uh, in response to wildfires, in response to agro-terrorism incidents, and also traffic crashes or highways that may occur involving large animal trailers. This training was comprehensive. It was two days, and we brought in a nationally recognized expert, Dr. Jimenez, who goes all over the world training folks on the proper techniques and methods to take care of large animals when they're in critical situations. It's safety for the responders. We're asking our fire department, our law enforcement, our sheriff's departments to go out there and deal with animals. And as you know, the wildland urban interface is getting bigger and bigger in, in Florida as well as around the United States. And so we end up with things like bears in our front yards and we have organizations to deal with that. And we end up with horses in people's communities. And maybe that's not such a bad deal, but what do you do when you have 30 cattle in a trailer wreck on I-4 or on I-95? Who does that? And that's been part of the problem. I'm trying to get these agencies to realize who does what, how they do it in a safe manner, what pieces of equipment that they can use that are often on the fire truck already. They didn't even know that they could use it for something. And some of these things, because our patients are 1,400 pounds and they don't speak English and they wear steel shoes on their feet, it can be a very dangerous animal. So how can you approach this a little safer? Some of these techniques can actually be even used for people. And that's where the USAR teams are here because they say, hey, if we can do that with a 1,200 pound animal, can't we do it with a person? And uh, many of these techniques are very applicable to that.